Goeie dag, Raad Neerge Ouwers, en welkom by ons inlichtingssessie vir 2022. Good day, Grade 9 parents, and welcome to our information session for 2022. My wens is dat ons hierdie jaar een ononderbroke skooljaar sal hee. My wish is that we will have an uninterrupted school year for 2022. Ek laat u met hierdie gedachte. If you spend your entire life with the mentality of my circumstances messed me up and that is why I am the way I am. Instead of learning how to heal and grow from your circumstances, you are your own enemy. Laat ons hierdie jaar boe ons omstandighede uitstuig en 2022 ons beste jaar nog ooit maak. Algemene inlichting wat u moet weet van Tom Nodea. General information that you need to know of Tom Nodea. Baie belangrik is ons school fonds, our school fees. Tom Nodea's school fonds is 2200 rand per maand. Ons het het hierdie jaar die selfde gehou as verlede jaar. Our school fees are 2200 rand per month. We kept it the same as last year. Die departement betaal op die oomlik 21 onderwijsers en die beheerlichom betaal 20 onderwijsers en 2 beraders. At this moment, the department pays only for 21 teachers and the governing body pays for the extra 20 teachers and 2 counselors at Tom Nodea. Ons het die onderwijsers nodig om die skaarsvaardighede te onderrug. Dit is waarom die school vir ons vond so belangrik is. We really need your school fees. It's very important for us because we need to pay these extra teachers to teach your child the scarce skills subjects. Hier die jaar het ons weer Kaskar fonds in sameling. Die Kaskar vind plaas op 4 maart. Die Kaskar fonds in sameling gaan juist vir die boog en in die doeindes om die onderwijsers te betaal. En dan wil ons ook graag hier die jaar ons badkommers vir die leerders opgradeer. Our cell box fundraising is taking a place again this year. The event is on the 4th of March. That's why we also do this fundraising to pay for the extra teachers that the SGB are paying for. And also we want to upgrade the bathrooms for the learners this year. Ons doelwit vir die jaar is 200.000 rand kontant. Our aim for this year with the Kaskar is 200.000 rand cash. Also, if you have any building material, any material we can use, please sponsor it for our school. Let your child ask for a sponsor form at the class guardian. As u enige bouwmateriaal of materiaal het wat u dink ons kan gebruik op ons schoolgronde, kan u net vir u kind vir om een borgvorm te vraag by sy klasvoog. School by woning Leerders moet asjeblief vir tyds vir sy nie ochende. Ons maak die drop-off zone haakie oop om 6.30 in die ochende en dit word weer om 7 uur gesluit. As die kind na 7 uur al aankom, gaan hy of sy by die hoofhek moet inkom en ongelukkig gaan hy dan geskandeer moet word vir laat verskool. Please make sure that your child is on time each and every morning. The drop-off zone gate opens at 6.30 in the morning and it closes again at 7. If your child arrives at after 7 at school, he or she must enter at the main gate of the school and there they will be scanned for late for school. Discipline. Alle leaders or learners will receive a code of conduct and your parent and your child will sign for it. Please familiarize yourself with the content of the code of conduct We as Tom Nodea, as Tommies, will act strictly according to this kind of conduct. Elke leder gaan een gedragskoor ontvang, waarvoor u as ouwer en leder moet teken. Verwittig u self as het lief met die inhoud van die gedragskoor, omdat ons streng volgens dit gaan optree. School by woning Speciale verlof gedeerende school ere, special leave during school hours. Die eepels moet asjeblief vroegtijdig na die hoof at tomnodeer.co.za gestuur word. 
en die e-post sal dan na die betrokke graad toe gestuur word. Dit is in die geval as jy weet dat die kind een dag nie by die school gaan wees nie, soos hy of sy bijvoorbeeld een doktersafspraak of een licentieafspraak of een ID-afspraak, moet jy asjeblief ons vroegtijdig laat weet. Onvoorsien omstandighede sal verstaan word. Please email letter to the hoof at tomnodier.ca.za when you know your child won't be at school a day. This includes doctor's appointments, appointments for licenses and appointments for IDs. Unforeseen circumstances or we know about that. That is, you can't predict that. To sê in examens, tests en examinations, verlede jaar het ons baie leders gekry wat aanwezig was of onnodig aanwezig was tydens to sê in examens. Naast die, we have a lot of children that didn't come to school and write tests or examinations. Jy moet asjeblief weet, as die leder aanwezig is vir die toets of examen, sal slechts die doktersbrief aanvaard word en of die doodcertikaat. As nie een van die voorsien kan word nie, gaan die leder nakry vir die vraag stel. Even learn is absent, only a doctor's letter or a death certificate will be accepted, otherwise your child will receive zero for the paper. Met die matrieks, as a matriek kind nie a vraag stel skryf nie, vooral aan die einde van die jaar, aanvaar hulle glad nie a doktersbrief of a doodcertikaat nie, en die leder gaan dan eers in juni, die jaar daarna, die vraagstel kan skryf. Grade 12s, when you are absent for examination, you will only, this counts for the year-end examination, you are only allowed to write your paper again, the next year or the following year in June. Extra klasse, Elke onderwijser sal met die klas reel wanneer ekstra klasse gaan plaas vind. Hierdie klas is heel te maal apart van ons wiskin ondersteuning centrum. Maak as het lief seker dat die leder uitvind wanneer ekstra klasse gaan plaas vind. Teachers will communicate with learners when ekstra klasses will take place. These are totally separate from our math support center. Dan kom ons by ons wiskin ondersteuning centrum our Mathematics Support Center. Die Wiskin Ondersteuning Centrum is oop vanaf maanda tot donderdag, vanaf 2 uur tot 5 uur. Leders moet hulle tijdskede leer by die ondersteuning centrum self. Hierdie dienst word gratis aan die kind geschee en leders kan ook op hulle cellfone die oefeninge van die Wiskin Ondersteuning Centrum in oefen. The Mathematics Support Center are open Monday to Thursday from 2 until 5. Learners must please schedule their time at the Mathematics Support Center. This service is absolutely free for your child and they can also complete the program on their phone at home when they didn't finish it during the hour session that you have at this center. Dan die school communicator, D6, ons vraag sy belief dat hy seker maak dat hy die D6 aflaai op die phone rekenaar of skoot rekenaar. Hier is makkelijke stappe wat hy kan volg om die toep af te laai. Alle nieuwsbriewe, enige communicatie gaan dier die D6 gekommunikeer word. Ons probeer wegbeweeg van papier af. Please make sure that you have the D6 on your phone. All communication will be given on this app. Please follow the easy steps to download this app. We try to move away from paper, so therefore a lot of information will be communicated on the D6. Jy sal die volgende op die D6 kan ontvang, die jaarprogram, die jaarprogram, kwartaalprogram, termprogram, die roosters, met ander woorde jou klasrooster, die toetsrooster, examenrooster, so timetables for the class, timetables for test and examinations, and then also all relevant communication that you need to know about our school. Alle ander nodige communicatie sal daaran u gecommunikeer word op die DSS. 
afbakenings van werken en toetsen sal ook op VDSS gecommuniceer word, die scopes for examination. Hier is die makkelijke stap om die toe te installeer. Asjeblief, nou, as jy die video nou klaar gekyk het, kan jy net terug gaan hier op pos en dan net hier die makkelijke stappe volg om die toe te installeer. Ja, the easy steps, how to install the G6 on your phone, laptop or computer. Um, please, if you finish listening to this video, um, just go back on the video, pause and then just follow the easy steps to install the G6. Dan het jy ook gesien dat jy kind die SNA vorm ontvang het. The ch every child in the school receives the SNA vorm. Vanaf hierdie jaar het die departement vereist dat alle leerders van graad 8 tot 12 hierdie vorm moet invul en dit word op hulle school leer geplaas. Ek het die dokument hierby aangehaag so jy kan net mooi sien wat er inlichting jy as ouwer moet invul. Hierdie is een wettige dokument en is hoogst vertrouwelik en confidentieel. Die vorm help die onderwijzer met die identificering van en begrip vir leerders met leerprobleme en behoeftes en hoe om hierdie leerder dan te help en aan te spreek en op een sekere manier te kan hanteer. From this year onwards, the department requires that every learner from grade 8 to 12 have to complete this SNI form. This will also be put on their school file. See the documents attached or after this slide and what information you as parent need to fill in for us. This is a legal document and highly confidential. This form helps us as teachers to identify and understand the learner and to know when there are learning problems or barriers and how we as teachers can address it. Here is the form that you ontvang it. You will see not the what is highlighted in geel for you as our voice info. The rest will be great work than info. The highlighted part in yellow is the only thing that you as parents need to fill in for us. The rest the great guardian will fill in. Baie dankie dat u tyd afgestaan het om na ons video te kyk en ook dan vir die samenwerking vir Tom Nodea of met Tom Nodea vir die jaar 2022. Thank you for your time and listening to our video and also for your cooperation for this year of 2022 at Tom Nodea. Thank you so much. Ek stel dan graag nou aan u die graad 9 span vir 2022 bekend. The team for 2022 for grade 9 is as follow. The Great Guardian, the Great Voog, is Mevrouw Ina Haasbroek. The Klas Voogde, our Class Guardians, for Graad 9A, is it Mevrouw Vicky van der Berg. Graad 9B, is Jevrouw Limeri Eibers, a new toevoeging tot ons personeel. She is new to our staff. Dan vir graad 9C het ons vir mevrou Charlotte Vlok, wat vir ons uithelp tot mevrou Linda Hatting terug is. She is helping us until ma'am Linda Hatting is back. Then the class guardians for grade 9D is Mr. Graham Ely. The 9E class is Mr. Bernard Kotze, which is also a new staff member. And then we have the grade 9Fs that Mr. Etienne Wilters is going to be the class guardian. And he's also new to our staff and will be joining us by the end of January. The FAC personnel, our subject teachers, in die tale, our languages, is daar die Afrikaanse huistaal en eerste additionele taal, jyvrou Marian Jordan. In the English home language, we also have a new staff member, Ma'am Pretty Manamela. And the English first additional language 
is daar je vrouw je lisma van je. In our subject teachers in mathematics, ons wiskunde personeel, ons het daar vir je vrouw Lihandri Friedenthal, and we also have je vrouw Sari Schmal, that is teaching maths for our grade nines. Die vakpersoneel vir die natuurwetenskappe, our natural science teachers. There we, all, we have Mrs. Zuleika Kotze and Ma'am Gabu Chauke. Both of them new to our staff. You can see daar het ons ook nieuwe personeellede. Die vakpersoneel vir technologie. Our subject teacher for technology is Mr. Jan Karel Holtzhausen. He is taking all the great nights. Dan die vakpersoneel vir IGO, Engineering, Graphic and Design, is meneer Rolof Oosthuizen, Mr. Rolof Oosthuizen, en so ook Mr. Franswa Lottering, teaching our great nights. Die vakpersoneel vir sociale wetenskappe, our social sciences, we have Ma'am Karen de Jager, and so work for Meneer Christopher Moali. The EBV, Economic and Management Sciences, is Jevrouw Zandri van der Vijver. The Levensorientering, our life orientation, there we have for Ma'am Marian Jordan. Ma'am Elisma van Jerden, ons het ook vir jyvrou Marionel van Deventer en jyvrou Limerie Eibers. As ons kyk na ons slagvereistes ouwers, is dit belangrik hierdie jaar to keep in mind what is our past requirements. Kom ons kyk vinnig, we are looking at our subjects that is important to look at what is the minimum requirement for our grade nines to pass. In the high stall, our home languages, a learner need to have at least 50%. For high stall, moet a leerder the minst 50% he. In the first additionele taal, the first additional language and mathematics into so Urbiskunde, is the slag vereiste a minimum of 40%. As ons naar Na die reis van die vakke kyk, moet die leerder tenminste drie van die vakke slaag met 40%. The rest of the subjects, a learner need to at least have 40% in three of them. En in twee van die vakke, tenminste 30%. And that also mean that in the next two subjects, at least... Uh, Minimum requirement of 30%. Ouwers, en dan aan die einde van die jaar, ouwers, en dan het ons die vakkeese wat in graad 9 geneem gaan word. At the end of the year, our grade 9s will also have to choose uh, these subjects. Nou, omdat onze technische school is, is die enigste keese eindelijk die technische vakke. So, because we are a pure technical school, the only subject choice that we have is in the technical subjects. Kom ons kyk net na ons verplichte vakke. Our compulsory subjects is home language, die huistaal. The first additional language, ons eerste additionele taal. Alle leerders moet IGO neem. All learners need to take engineering, graphic and design, as work levens orientering, as well as life orientation. Then all learners must take a combination of mathematics and sciences. Alle leerders moet ook a combinatie van wiskunde en wetenskap neem. So die combinaties is as volg. Our combinations are as follow. Wiskunde en fysische wetenskappe, mathematics and physical sciences, or technical maths and technical sciences, of ons kan technische wiskunde en technische wetenskappe neem, or your child can take mathematics and technical sciences, of jy kind kan wiskunde en technische wetenskappe neem. 
by the technical focus at our technical subjects we have got the three main subjects there is three with focus in there is akin a owner of the link what the kind can kiss that he on stand door nine different technical focus they are nine different technical subjects so come on skype also we have the in the civil technology we've got building construction there it was bow construction we've got civil services is a file dienst in houtwerk so there is also woodwork in the electrical technology by the electrische technologie is daar krachtsysteme we have power systems in ook digitale systeme there is also digital systems and then by the mechanische technologie the mechanical technology is automotive motorwerktuigkunde and pas in machinering fitting and turning here to the end of the year you will get a more detailed explanation of each technical subjects and what is expected in each of them in the end of the year we will give you a more detailed explanation of each technical subject in each of them and what is expected in each of them. Thank you parents for joining us and we hope that this explanation of each of them is. We hope that this information will serve you well.